And here's a question for you. Are you a hanger or a folder? Did you know there are rules for which clothes we hang versus which clothes we fold? Yes, people, there are rules. And Sarah is back to teach them to us. And Sarah, I feel a pop quiz coming on. Well, you may be right, Trace. I may quiz you just a little bit because you know what? There's so many different categories of clothes and there is a better way to take care of them when they're in your closet, for sure. So I'm gonna go through a bunch of categories here and I'm gonna ask you what you think, okay. starting with my two most used categories in this house, floral dresses and active wear. <laughs> so, surprise. So let's start with a dress or skirts. What would you do with these, Trace? Absolutely hang them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. They should be hung. You know, anything that's got a flowy fabric just does a lot better on a hanger. I like to use hangers like these wooden ones here because they just have a nice shape to them and they're a little bit more substantial. Um, but if you have something with straps like this one, you want to look for hangers that have the hooks. Mm -hmm. Now the only exception to this is um, if your dress is jersey or knit, you really do want to fold those because the weight of the fabric is going to stretch them and weigh them down. Um, but then if we talk about skirts, I really like using this type of hanger here that has these clips on it to hold your skirts in place. But I found these really, really cool clips and you can turn any just regular hanger into one that will clip onto your skirts really easily Ooh. and you can get them in sets of I think about 10 or 12. That is so handy. I love those little clips. It's genius. Yeah. Okay, what are we hanging or folding next? Okay, so what do you think about activewear? Activewear definitely folded. I don't have enough room to hang all that stuff. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that's exactly, yeah, because you are so good at working out. Um, I don't have as much as you probably. Uh, and, you know, you're right. Basically, anything that you'd wear to the gym, workout tops, or surprise, I have floral ones, uh, workout <laughs> pants, or as I like to call them, my everyday clothes these days, anything that you would have worn to the gym, you definitely want to fold. It keeps the shape a lot better. Um, it keeps them from stretching. So that's just a simple way to do it. Plus, yeah, you're right. It saves closet space for sure. Oh yeah, because my like I don't have a ton of closet space, so I love that activewear can be folded, uh, keeps everything in place. Okay, what is our next category for hanging or folding? All right, so now we're talking about blouses or dress shirts. What do you think about something like this? I hang all of my blouses. Usually they're a lighter fabric, maybe a little bit flowy, yeah. um, as well as my shirts. They're all hung. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Those are hung. And again, I like to use this style hanger. It's got almost a similar shape to your shoulder, so it's going to keep the shape of your tops working really, really well. And if you happen to have one that's buttoned like this one, I like to button them up all the way. Mm -hmm. And that's basically because I hate ironing. And if you have the buttons done up, it's going to create a flatter, smoother surface, especially when it's squished in there against a bunch of other tops. So that's something to keep in mind for that. And no metal hangers because they can really... I don't know if I can show it here, but have you ever had those little pokes in yes. your shoulder of your tops from metal hangers? Yeah, you want to avoid that. Uh, what have we got next? All right, so let's talk t-shirts and tank tops. What do you think? So I'm a bit weird with this one. Oh, I know that shirt. I love that you have yes, it. Yes, you do. Very nice. <laughs> so my tank tops, because I have them in like a rainbow of colors, are hung up so I can see them. And my nice. t-shirts, most of them are folded. There's a few special ones that are on a hanger. What should we be doing? Well, <laughs> you know what? It's a trick question because you can do both. This one's definitely going on a hanger, but you can definitely <laughs> fold them. I like to just make sure that I lay them completely flat in the front and the back before I fold, just to avoid getting too many wrinkles. I'm lazy in this house, so I prefer to hang most of the kids' t-shirts and ours, just again, to save on ironing. Mm -hmm. But I found this really cool thing for tank tops. I bet a lot of people can relate to me and they just looped them all over one hook and had them hanging. I've done that before. Mm -hmm. But this hanger, I'll flip it in the back here, has these really great hooks so you can layer a bunch of different tanks. They're not gonna take up a lot of space and they're not gonna slip off the hanger, which is great. Where did you get that? Cause I need that for my rompers too. So that's from Bed Bath & Beyond, just like the clips. Oh my yeah. gosh, Great, amazing. Fun. Okay, are we gonna do a little folding lesson now? We can do a folding lesson now, yes, we can. Um, here's a funny story. I used to work in a clothing store in my hometown of Bedford, Nova Scotia, all through university, and we used to have fold-offs. 
<laughs> when it wasn't busy. We'd have competitions to see who could fold the best. And I'm not gonna brag. Actually, I am gonna brag. I won them every time. So we learned how to do did. a standing fold because there wasn't always a flat surface, right? Yeah. To lay everything down on and use the board and fold it perfectly. So I'm gonna teach you a standing fold. So you wanna put the sweater, the front facing you, just like this, okay? Got it. And then you're gonna put your hand here, close to the collar, but a little bit over, and you're just gonna fold your sweater over part way like that, and then take your sleeve and kind of accordion fold it like this, okay? Okay. And then repeat the same thing with the other side. So you put your hand here to kind of stop it, fold over, accordion, I use my chin, <laughs> and fold it up, and look at that. Very smart. Yeah, so easy. Sarah, thank you. I learned a thing or two for sure. All of us 